Okay, next question. The Common Core Standards are, were created from evidence-based research. What specific evidence-based research was used to create these standards? And we start with Mike. Well, on the math side, the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics were at the table with each of these things. The Governors Association drove a lot of the development of the Common Core Standards, and they got experts from a wide variety of venues, a wide variety of states, and they benchmarked these standards against what it's looking like internationally. Because as you all know, we haven't been shaking out so well on those international assessments. And part of that is because we haven't expected as much of our young people. So those entities came together, gathered input in each of the states. This is another thing that gets lost in the shuffle. Each of the states had ample opportunity to weigh in, to vet, to shape, to mold what we wound up with at the end of the day with those standards. So all of those experts and the individual states, we posted the standards at the State Board of Education. And for the record, they were before I got there. But everybody had the opportunity to weigh in, just as they will as we move forward. And I want to say, I got some time left, that I am open to continuously reviewing what we have in place and modifying as we need to to make sure we get better. In regard to the, the accreditation process of the standards themselves, now you had two individuals that, you know, in fact, uh, as far as the accreditation board itself, you had two individuals, one for math, one for, for, or, uh, for English language arts. Now these two individuals who had the deepest knowledge as far as the standards and specifically in their field did not sign off on these standards. So that leads, lets you know something right off the bat that individuals, and I think, I think Ms. Stotsky up, up in Massachusetts, you know, who is definitely well known for her work in English language arts and has been vocal about this, that you know, there are concerns there. You know, I think, of course, I think one of my opponents, uh, Dr. Bacchial, you know, did some you know, research on the math, and again, for Senator Ligon. So we are you know, looking at, at that, that these standards we knew were somewhat valid. You know, or not uh, really valid across the board. Now, in the regard to being an international benchmark, these standards have not been benchmarked, okay? There's nothing that we have as far as any data research. Initially, you know, the individuals who were behind Common Core came out and said, yes, they're, they're benchmarked. But they pulled back from that statement because they know that it was an incorrect statement itself. So what we're looking at is that, you know, these are, you know, the standards themselves that, that have not been tested. They have not been proven. We have no idea. A lot of the work, when you look across the board at the past, and especially some of this recent testing, whether it's 2010, 2012, well, our students, they grew up under Georgia performance standards. That reflects close to 13 years of these kids you know, being taught with, it, with these standards, especially with the English language arts and math. So I think we need to look at you know, what we have across the board you know, as far as what we're actually saying you know, as benchmark standards and those that are, are true to the course. And so uh, you know, we're, we're dealing with an unknown. We have absolutely have no idea about these standards and their, and their capability and how much they will actually, quote, help the child. But uh, from what we've seen so far, uh, even with the Brookings Institute, which recently came out with a study, and it showed minimal gain, and especially for states that are tied very directly to Common Core standards. Georgia is one of those states. Thank you. Thank you.